Hello and welcome back to City Bus Manager. Uh, here we are once again back looking at Exeter, just where we left it off in the last episode actually, with a nice overview of everything milling around in front of us, making us money, and genuinely good things happening. In the last episode, we um, started putting in night shifts and stuff, which is why we have so many buses out and about. Um, they don't look too busy, this looks like a good time to be getting a bus, if I'm honest. Everyone seem, seems to have enough space that you'll still be getting seats. There's a few empty, but there's still a couple, like... He's got a good few, and like 16 on the A going out there. 24 going out that way. Oh, he's out of service, out of service, out of service, hence all empty. But there are definitely people still using the buses. So that's a good, a good sign. If we look back in here, we can see already that we have a couple of spaces. Or at least four of them there. You know, to quickly pause so we can zoom out and have a look around. While out of the way, as I said, I was going to send everyone off to go get fueled and stuff and clean. But yeah, looking around, we can see we have a few spaces and no one is too backed up. Like, they're still pouring in. And there's a couple just going out on their shift. So he's, he's off to start doing his top shim until 10 in the morning. And these guys are all coming in. We've got a few bays. got one over here just taken. A few down along the back. So it looks like this endeavour to try and free up more space in our depot. By um, having buses out running nights and stuff. Seems to have worked. We have plenty of spaces still available in here. Plenty, plenty more space. So we can start getting some more buses start putting some more routes in which gets us onto the purpose of this episode as I wanted to put in what I would call the perfect commuter route or the perfect bus route the perfect money maker I mean I doubt it'd be perfect to all people on it because it's gonna be a really really busy one probably also what about bus drivers saying I just want to take a moment to thank you for my great job yet this scheduling malarkey really has helped the commenter the viewer who helped help me with this great suggestion and I'd re highly recommend that everyone starts organizing their companies like this like it saves so much effort anyway, what is the Whipton saying we would like to take this opportunity to thank you for carrying out the whip we are very satisfied with your work and hope to maintain the high quality yours sincerely Whipton Community Hospital well it is an absolute pleasure I suppose while I was in there I should really um, open that message up just to get rid of it and clear it back but yeah there we go everyone everyone is um, mo moving along very happily you need to get your router replaced um, it's probably a moment for a depot to open up but hopefully one of these will be oh where is he this is going to need refixing before that unfortunately Let's get him in, let's get him fixed, get this fat flat tire replaced. I mean, this idea was plan was to try and make things easier so we're not backing up along the road. But yeah, we are still causing quite a bit of congestion. Like if you lived around here, you would find it jolly annoying. I mean I suppose at the moment it's only half past midnight. So um probably not the end of the world that we're blocking the road like if you you're probably not too busy at this time of day but then again maybe the noise on the road would be keeping the kids up and stuff which also is not ideal not what we want we want to be considerate to our neighbors considering we've got a very inner inner city um inner city bus effort okay so it turns out we do not have enough parking spaces We've got buses backing up along the road already, and these guys can't come out, so I can't fix up the next bus. Well, maybe we'll just start sending some of these to cleaners and stuff. Well, you need some fixing, but we'll wait for you. We'll send you to do the okay, get washed. No, to get fuel, I mean. Fuel, fuel, fuel. We'll send the cleaner to you. 
send you to the wash machine, wash, washing bay. Hopefully, if we send a few of these, just to get sorted, we can open up space in our in our workshops, so we can start getting everyone else sorted. No free bus wash available. Ah, oh, good, good, good. So, what did you need stuff fixing, didn't you? I know you're not the broken one, but you can get your wiper and your brake pads repaired. And somewhere in here, it should be a smoking wreck of a DLO5, which needs a tire. There he is, right down the end. Oh, he needs, he's got no air conditioner, no indicator, no lights, and a flat tire. You need to get in there quick, my friend. You are a mess. Sort yourself out. How many are waiting out on the road? We still have quite a few waiting out on the road. Now, I do know that there is a way someone has told me that I could potentially increase the um, area area of our depot and I might have to look into that in the future but I'm holding on for a little bit longer because my poor computer is struggling enough as it is anyway looking in here we're not making too much money at night but we've got enough that we can repay this no we haven't got enough to repay that low to the other loan to the 140 which I repaid when you weren't watching which is, I suppose, a very, very exciting bit of information for you, which you probably wish you hadn't realised. I've noticed over time it's unfortunately been piling up lately. And that this dress is probably because he's stuck out on the road going, let me in! Unfortunately, not much I can do at this point. Hmm. Other than actually getting out and expanding the area which might be what we have to look at very soon oh well what i'm going to do now actually is probably free up a bit more space in here if i remove we're not we're only ever we're only at the moment buying buying ourselves new coaches new buses so we don't need to have the paint depot, like they're all coming in painted anyway. So let's just get a... Oh dear. Let's see if we put a row of bus, row of bus bays, parking bays. Come on, you can come in here, can't you? Fine, we'll clear those trees out of the way. Will that help? We're going to pause it as well. I think that might also help. So let's get rid of these trees got to be a more efficient way than one bush at a time well that's got rid of all the trees now there should be no reason for no reason at all we can't get these bays in so I start at the top and just work our way down there we go that's better and now we can just pop a row of bushes in and make people just a bit happier again I think that's what these do I'm not quite sure what putting trees and bushes around our depot does but I imagine it makes me feel happier having greenery and foliage around I imagine it would only be the same for our staff so having all these trees hopefully can only be seen as a good thing a bit of enrichment for our, um, for our staff members. I'm going to come down here and just quickly speed through popping a row down here. Okay, there we go. We have our row of bushes in down there. There we go. That should allow people to be happier and the row of bays over here can hopefully get a few more buses in as long as we don't need to keep repaint as long as we don't have to repaint anything that should be fine 
Okay, so it's letting a couple more out. But not really that many. We've still got lots waiting. Yeah, there's loads waiting out on the road. But while they're waiting there, not much we can do about it. This is, it is what it is. And I suppose you're fed up with me telling me there's not much we can do about it because there's not much we can do about it. But let's have a look back. Let's have a look at all of our buses doing their thing around Exeter. There's not actually that many out and about, are there? Not many on the night shift. One over here, one over here. Only a small handful. I thought we would have had more. Unless they've all been stuck and, and are cancelling because they, they need to get back to the depot to turn around, but they can't. Hmm. See, these are all our buses out. Yeah, we've got to be missing a few. Like, most of our routes don't have buses on them. And there should be a lot more out there. Oh, this TV is struggling he's over an hour late at this point he's gonna be making people very unhappy all right I think it's calls for a few more things to get more bays in here let's be honest what do we not need many more of I think we can get rid of you 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 it's a lovely tree, I've liked it for a long time. But if that all goes, can we get more more bays in along here? We'll pause it again. Okay, that's got us 11, 11 more bays in there. Well, we had four, so I suppose there's only really seven more. Hopefully that will sort a few more people out. Get a few more in off the road. See how that gets on. We can push up in here. It was a shame to get rid of that, um, that nice tree that we had there already. We'll just see what we can do to make this look a bit prettier. So I'll rush through getting this sorted and we'll go from there. What good parking we have here! Look at him, just skew up across the bay in another cut in another bus. But we have one more bay there, oh. and we still have people waiting on the road. But we still have a few bays coming. I think people are coming and going, and they're going out on their night shift, sort of thing. So we have now, we do actually have what three over here, plus seven here. So we've got ten more bays in our depot. That's hopefully got a few more things sorted. Um, if need be, we've got other things that we can remove. Let's have a look out here. Cool, everyone is now in. I repeat, everyone is in the depot. Everyone who needs to be is in the depot. And we still have those two piled on each other so those two bays are taken we have space over here we do have space that has achieved its goal and we do have we do have spare bays happy days one of you guys needs to move i'm unhappy with you being so skewiffy okay in the depot, you can go get some fuel. You driving somewhere seems to be causing issues. Hey, anyway, if we look, in a, we look back at exit, we'll watch everyone doing their night shifts, and then we'll think about putting in the next lot of routes a bit later on. 
So it still doesn't look very busy out here. But there's a few there sort of separating up. Maybe there's a couple more buses running around. But there doesn't appear to be anyone up at the university, anyone on the Pennsylvania, anyone doing uh, West Circular. We've got a couple of the Alphas, Alphingtons on. Let's have a look. Let's see who... Oh yeah, we go. Look at that. We've got already got loads more. The TVs are out. Out of service. Out of service. There's quite a few out of services. We've got an H running. But as I say, there was no, no um, west route or anything. We have a Tiviton, which is back to eight minutes late. I'm assuming he's probably had to drop a drop a lap, so it's be only eight minutes from over an hour late. Everyone else seems to be on time, so it's just a Tiviton that's having issues. Roots, how are they all getting on? No one on that one. And there's loads of, loads of spare space on all of our buses. The Cully is the busiest at the moment, by the look of it. Yeah, it looks like the Cully is surprisingly busy for four in the morning. Do we have any other busy ones? The Tivs are quite quiet. The Apple Express quiet. I don't know where the TV ton is in here. See if that's all about the distance that they're covering, which is why the Cully is the Cully is busy. No, still not that busy. Just people in Columpton start early. Good old Cully service. Okay. What I'm going to do is actually pop in this new route that I've been mean mentioning for a while. We're going to do. It's going to be another extra route. We've done a few out of the city now. We need to finish off the commuter belt, get to get them all open, and do the perfect money-making route for us. So this will be the um, the outer circular. I'll get the right buttons eventually. The OC one. And as I know we are all shocked by, we're starting this route at Cheek Street. We're going to head out of Cheek Street, past the Odeon, and we're going to come up through Trust House. We're going to change the colour so we can actually see where we're going to a nice fetching pink. And we're going to come up through Elmside and turn up at Henry's Bar and come up towards the Stoke Arms. I know we are following now the route of the BCAR, but that doesn't actually run very often. The first bus isn't until like half two in the afternoon or something, so it's not offering a huge amount of service to the people in this area out over here. So we're going to run out this way. Ah, uh, it's got the little chink in the middle there. We'll just ignore going that way for now. Okay, so that's fixed that little bit up there, so we're not looping back on ourselves too much. It's quite a long route if we come out, it does the whole way round the outer city. And should be a good money maker, like it's got a good amount of residential areas, a good amount of shops, a good amount of work, workplaces. So we should hopefully have lots of people using this. It also crosses over lots of other... Lots of other um, lines. So people should have 
lots to lots to do on it. Lots of places to and go and to jump on and off from. So we'll do this. We'll do it six in the morning. Should we do six in the morning? Until no, that's in the wrong one, isn't it? Six until ten. And we'll do it every 20 minutes or 15 minutes at rush hour. Every day of the week. No, we do it apart from Sunday. And then we need to come down here and add in some waiting time. So we do two at Morrison's. Um, and then I think there's few interesting there's a few interesting names in here. You can eat Shaw's uh, Park is closed. Pinho Railway Station. We'll do two there. EDF Energy. We'll do two there. The um, Digby Southern Park and Ride. Two there. IKEA. Two there. Then we'll do uh, Lakeside Avenue. Two. Uh, it'll be just all the way back around and to the to the high street and there'll be a nice bit of time waiting there so the bus can go back out on time so we'll do a new timetable it'll be just on the sunday and this will be six until ten again and it'll be every half an hour and we will do the same places again or i'll try and remember where they were I think it was Morrison's, then it was Pinho Railway Station. For a couple there. Then we wanted Easy of Energy for a couple. Then I wanted Park and Ride for two. I've missed a few, haven't I? Ikea for two and then Lakeside Avenue for two and we're back around to the start so that's good then we'll do a new timetable which will be starting at 10.30 so that'll be just after the um, the daytime service finishes and then we will finish that one at 5.30 Yep, and that'll be every half an hour, and we'll just sort those times out. It's got the overnight section sorted. Um, actually, how long is this taking? Yeah, we can just add the time, and it doesn't really matter. It'd probably be better if you went through and did it in a logical order, not jumping all over the place like I am doing. Has already had his two. I think it's just Lakeside, which is. I saw it. There it is. There we. Well, we missed one two-minute wait, but it's night time. Doesn't matter. So we will confirm that and that will need a good few buses on it. But as we are still paused. We need to do the route going back the other way. This is a circular. So I'll quickly jump back when this is all done. Okay, so we are following pretty much the same route. We're going to do a few alterations like jumping through the states down there. Um, so if there's one way, we can't do it going the other way. So we're going to pretty much be following it, doing it like IKEA, Digby, and then all the way back through these estates and then off towards ED of Energy and back around into, into Pinho. Happy days, easy days. We're cruising now, we're cruising well.
Okay, we're just going to quickly adjust the times and the schedule. Do the same work as much of the same as I can remember of the um, OC going the other way. So we can organise all of that. So we'll have our weekday, and then we'll do our Sunday, and then we'll have our nighttime service. And we'll just pop the wait times in. And we'll try and do the same places as the other ones. But we have this bus leaving 10 minutes early in the morning so that they can alternate every 10 minutes off the high street at normal running times. Anyway, we're nearly done. I'll be back when it's all sorted. Okay, so it looks like each route is going to require six buses with passenger volumes of 100 to 350. So an awful lot of people will be using this service. Time to get some buses for them. So we're going to have to buy new again. Um, what buses do I want for it though? Let's have a look at what options we have. I'm going to have to take a loan out. It's probably worthwhile getting something larger than an intercity LE because we'll have quite high numbers operating on it, which means we're really looking at either like an Urbano, which is but that's nearly 50k, and considering we need 12 buses, that's looking at 600,000 euros for them. Whereas if we use say the new Routemaster at 36. Um, that's closer to 400,000, but it's still a lot. We do have one of these already. What loans do we have access to? I've repaid a couple. Okay, if I take out 180, I mean, that is an expensive loan. 150, that gets a 300. It's not quite good enough, is it? Hmm. I mean, that would be enough to get us enough um, intercity LEs, but at this rate, every service is going to be overloaded on them. So we'll take out both loans, and we will replace start replacing buses in future episodes, because there's going to be quite a few that I think need upping. So we're going to go new. There's no point going second hand anymore. We don't have a, pa a paint station. So if I buy the, new, the new Route Masters for it, we have one spare already. Which means I need, well, I need to buy 12. So if I buy 10 now and then one more. Oh, look at that. It's Batman's burst. Black and black. So we'll just buy the last one. Okay, we have just suddenly lost so, so much money. I don't know how that's happened. We've only invested... How? We haven't we haven't bought a million, that many buses, have we? No wonder everything is struggling and going slow. Like we have... We have got problems. So we need to pause. Pause the game. Pause it. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I have the routes, I have the buses, the drivers, and everything scheduled. We had to get quite a few new drivers. What I've done slightly differently with these ones is I've just numbered them all OC. I've not done full on individual. So that the buses and the drivers can be shared between the, the clockwise and the anti clockwise outer circular. So we just have OC. 1 through to 12, which we'll get to in just a second. So here we go, we've got all of them here. And then we just piled it in as and where. So we've got a mix of whether it's a 1 and a 2. Uh, yeah, then like a 2, 1, 2. 
and then the drivers just chop and change doing whatever they need to do. So that is all assigned and should be working. I don't know why we have lost so much money. Like we had enough money to um, to buy the 11 buses that we needed. So I don't know why we are suddenly now so far in debt. Like our investment on new buses in here it says is like basically 1.7 million. And yeah, it should have been about 400,000 for all of our buses all up. So where the other 1.3 million has gone, I mean, I kind of really, really hope we haven't just got a run of like 30 buses coming in because that would just be a lot. Like a big, big lot. So these are still the OCs coming in and hopefully they'll just come in and be straight back out. It's all looking pretty busy coming in over there and nothing that we're doing is going to make that any less busy. Our depot over here, well our depot, our service centre is not open. We have loads of extra spaces but I did over here have to put another teeny tiny little office in and a few more um, things along here. Lockers, that is what they are called. Thingy majiggies otherwise known as lockers because we were running a bit short on them. Anyway, this is probably where I'm going to stop it for now. It's been quite long enough, there's a lot for us to get through here. And we have a nice long strung out row of buses here. So um, this will all need sorting out. These buses will all need sorting. And um, I'll see you again in the next episode for more fun game and shenanigans. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you have a good one. I will leave this running for a little bit. I'll see you in the next one shortly. But until then, ciao for now.